Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, Chris Wolmos' um, multimedia classes and um, Timidity MCD, which is the um, plugin for MMOS2 that plays MIDI's. Um, you can switch. Um, I'm going to talk about the biggest problem with the multimedia classes that nobody could figure out how to build them. Uh, part of the reason was is that you had to know that only Visual Age 3.08 would work because it used a thing that's called direct to which was an experimental piece that was put in to VAC 308 and then subsequently taken out in VAC 365. So that was the biggest stumbling block to getting all of this to build, was knowing that you were stuck with this one compiler. <coughs> um, you also need all the SOM compiler pieces, and um, which are all on ECS disk two. That blue line in there is actually a URL to where it can be downloaded. So you can actually read it when you have the slide. Next slide. Um, the other things you need are pretty straightforward. You just need um, <coughs> the make you <coughs> make off of um, NetLabs, the IBM toolkit, and LX Lite. Go ahead. The out only outside library is actually for this um, set includes the um, JPEG plugin which was built using uh, gbm.lib. And um, there are three different versions of the lib. The one that's in the subdirectory on the package under lib.vac is where it's at. Again, that blue streak is the URL where you can get the package. Next slide. <coughs> you have to go in and generate some HH files which is really pretty straightforward. There's a somehh.com in som.bim, and if you run it after setting the som base in uh, the som include directory, it generates everything for you. Um, and there is a som environment in som.bim, which is pretty easy to to edit just to fix whatever your path layouts are. Next slide. Um, then you have to build the workplace shell HH files. And those, I did it just by using the SOM generation com and stuck it, and <coughs> stuck it in the um, IDL directory. Um, there are <coughs> several different ones. That's the command line that's actually inside the um, CMD file if you want to run it from the command. Um, next slide. And then it's pretty straightforward. You just have to set the local variables, um, review everything to make sure you've got all your paths right, and then run make, and it should build. I I think all of the object directories have been put into the SVN tree. Uh, that was the only other problem we had building it was some of the directories were missing and so it would just complain that the file didn't exist and until we got the directories in. But I think they've all been committed so if anybody wants to try to build it, once you've got the SVN installed, you should have all of those directories now. Next slide. And then there are st um, still some issues with it. Um, Icecast play, uh, streams fail to play. Uh, I don't think it was ever implemented is why they fail. I d the code just doesn't seem to be there. Um, there's some, uh, some tickets about fit and finish, um, asterisks where they didn't belong and stuff like that. In the, various dialogues and stuff, which have all pretty much been fixed. CD digital audio now works. If you take a regular digital audio and put it in and try to play it in a CD player, it works now, 
which it did in the past. <clears throat> also, we've got support for modern video formats, and that requires um, either FFmpeg or um, mplayer as mplayer be in the path, but it will just open seamlessly open those files now if you just double click on them. I also got the timidity working as I said earlier and <coughs> and uh, there is also a um, configuration file that I put in at one point which right now I haven't released and I haven't released any of this because um, next slide um, these are the any settings that you have. You have a lot of choices for setting things up. You can set up all those audio players. <coughs> um, you have various editors you can include. Right. There's several different players. Um, the, the, um, there's also one that'll turn off the modern video player plugin in case you want to do that some other way. Um, and these are all just full path names that you put in, or you can put in just the program if it's in the path. Next slide. Um, some UI keys where you can make the displays work a little bit more like your, to your liking, like turns off blinking and things like that. Um, <coughs> and some other scanning features. Um, it can really slow down things when you first start up. If, um, if it goes out and scans a drive that has huge amounts of um, things on it, that it has to pull up for it by hundreds of MP3s, for example, it will just slow down the startup of the program, and so you can just exclude those various drives, and then the one that turns off the modern video. <coughs> Next one. Um, then for Timidity MCD, um, again, it was pretty straightforward. It was a built originally built with EMX, but um, at least for my setup, EMX was uh, finicky enough that it refused to build it. But GCC 9.2 worked just fine. So it's now built with a relatively modern compiler. Um, and you same usual thing, though, it's a to toolkit. Um, it's right now it's on GitHub. Um, next slide. And then um, the usual development libraries, plus OS2ME, which is on Hobbs uh, Archive. And um, the MX Developer Kit was also needed, and the OS2ME.A library. Next slide. Um, oh, yeah, don't run automake. That, a disaster. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. And then j it, it builds pretty straightforward. Okay, next slide. If you remember, the, the problem with this community plugin was that historically, if you opened it, if you installed it, and then double clicked on a MIDI, um, it would trap PM. But of course, it didn't leave any trace of what it was doing. It just simply vanished and reappeared. Um, the logging in it refused to work. Um, I finally got PM printf to work in it, and we fiddled, fiddled around with it some and finally got a trap dump of sorts. And it was a stack overflow that was causing this. So it was a sim simply had to change one number in the program to get it to work. <laughs> I had to make the stack twice as large. How long did it take to find this one? Uh, about a week. Okay. Ne um, next slide. 
Um, I was going to release it until I figured out that there's a problem for basically everybody that has Arc OS and that it won't work anyways because um, Chris's fix for the broken Timidity plugin was to break CWMM so it wouldn't use it. <laughs> so fixing it didn't do any good for that. And I've been real leery to re release the CWMM updates because the installer as it is right now, it installs it just fine. Uninstall it and MMOS2 is gone forever. <laughs> so um, <coughs> it's not particularly safe as you might put it to let people have it. So we're still trying to work on a way to figure out how to get it so it can be updated much more gracefully than that. Um, <clears throat> but this is pretty straightforward to install. It's, it's, a, it's a warpy that does everything. It, it even calls the M installer to do the M install piece. You do have to reboot afterwards. Um, next slide. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Some of my contributors, Steve, who helped me track down that lovely little trap, and um, Lars gave me the code for the, um, the CD audio player. Any question? Thank you. Okay.